Hi, Thomas Hammond here, founder and CEO of Realty Partners. And I just wanted to share with you some quick thoughts regarding uh, buyer tours, working with buyers as a buyer agent and organizing home tours. And I just had a conversation with uh, one of our agents and I wanted to share that with you. You may have heard the saying, um, you know, show the, the crappy houses first and then the nice one that you want to sell. And uh, while that seems a bit corny, there's some truth to it uh, psychologically. So let's say you have a buyer and nowadays, of course, the buyers are telling you what they want to look at. They've done their research. They've been on your website. They've picked out five or six properties that they want to uh, see. How are you going to structure that show? They're showing uh, the tour. Are you just going at random uh, putting these things together? Are you going to map it out based on what's most convenient to drive? Or are you going to use some psychology in uh, putting together that tour? Personally, what I would strongly suggest and what I used to do, if you don't know the area intimately, I would do a drive-by. If it's um, a higher price point, I would actually do a preview of the property if that's at all possible. But at a bare minimum, I would drive by and get a feeling from the outside of the home, you know, what kind of area is it, what kind of neighborhood is it, what's the feel I get for it, and how does that match what my uh, buyers are looking for. And hopefully you have a pretty good idea by the time you take them out as to what's the most important to them, what they're looking for, what some of their hot buttons are. And then you want to organize your tour and literally go from worst to best. And here's why. If you're going to create that contrast by showing them the properties that are least likely to meet their needs first, and then the best homes at the end, you're going to create that contrast where now that you're getting to the best home, um, they're going to remember the properties that they looked at before. And that contrast is going to really help them make a decision on that property. If on the other hand, you show them the best home first and then take them to a bunch of other homes that you uh, really know aren't going to meet their needs, then what's going to happen? First of all, the first home that they looked at that would have met their needs is so far back that they don't really fully remember it and appreciate it. Plus, they probably didn't spend a lot of time in there because it's just the beginning of the tour. So now you're going to be at that dilemma where, okay, can we go back and look at that first home again? Or that's best case scenario, worst case scenario, they just semi forgot about the first home, but they're just frustrated because they've just seen bad home after bad home. And they go, you know, let's sleep on it and we'll, uh, you know, revisit it tomorrow. And uh, it's just very, very tough to uh, move forward from there. So just psychologically, you want to create that contrast, which creates more value at the, uh, at, at, at the home that is most likely to meet their needs. And, uh, and then organize your, your home tours accordingly. Hope uh, this makes sense. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot me a message. Thomas Hyman, founder of and CEO of Realty Partners, with this quick daily success tip. Make it a great day.